Smurfy greetings, YouTubers. It is I, Hell Gear. Welcome back to Smurf's Epic Run. Let's do some more Ultimate Mode. We gotta play with Hefty, huh? That's fine. We can play with Hefty. We're not wimpy. We're Hefty. Remember to like, sub, and bell for more Smurf's Epic Run. But with that being said, it's time to run. To those of you who haven't seen Ultimate Mode, it's essentially, <laughs> well, you're gonna see it. It's Fast Mode. I should've went up top. This is actually, Oh, that's too bad. This is actually really good practice for the tournaments. Nice. How does this work? I think this is my very first Fiesta in Ultimate Mode. Beautiful. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. All right. That wasn't too bad. Good job, Hefty. We're not wimpy, we're hefty. Well, some of the people, first and foremost, I wanna just say thank you to everyone who voted on my poll that I did in the community tab, because uh, if you haven't been living under a rock after all these years, on Friday, they actually overturned Roe v. Wade. Now, I still personally think that this is a bad idea. But, the consensus from where I stand, as far as people around, are one of two ways. One, Yay pro-life and two heaven help the women. And I guess I'll talk about the number two because well obviously we know what the first one is about. You know. I have a lot of friends and former co-workers that are, you know, either are women or have daughters. And they're very concerned that, well, the female population has officially been screwed. Now, I know I'm not the type of person that'll bust out with politics and stuff, but this is important because this is part of the history of where I live and this was a law that has been around for 50 years wow that was a quick level you know Roe v. Wade happened before I even came along hell before a lot of us even came along this was like our parents and our grandparents who had to deal with a woman's right to choose what was good and what was not good for her body. And when you think about 
let me let me say this properly. When it comes down to parenthood, right? And more and more specifically, oh, I got to do a flying smoke stage. More specifically, parenthood that happens for the wrong reasons. You really have to take account of the thing. Now, oh God, Damn it. ah, the flying Smurf stages are going to be the worst because I cannot do the flying Smurf stages at speed so very well. Especially when we get drops like that. Come the hell on. It's going to eat my energy. I have 600 energy, but I still don't want to have to burn through 100 just trying to clear this stage multiple times. Oh, come the... Mm. All right, fine. We're just going to save me through this madness. <laughs> I'm not wasting 100 energy on that. It's a cop out, I know. But, uh, I can afford this cop out. And I'm going to show you why I can afford this cop out. You see that? I have 9,663 gems. So spending 25 of them to continue on a fast flying smurf stage, yeah, I can afford that. Anyway, let's move on. It's Sasset's turn. All right, stompa, stompa, stompa. Remember folks, in ultimate mode, you don't get to choose which Smurf you want to use to clear stages. The choice is made for you. Now, I was having a really big discussion and the whole point, and this is just my take on it. You know, now that Roe v. Wade has overturned, reload. The biggest thing Damn, that would have been nice to have that other invincibility potion, but unfortunately that just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> when you can get away with stomping, do it. My hopes are that cases in rape don't go up high. I know that's a very slippery slope thing to say, but you have to think about this for a moment. All right, think about this for a minute. If countries in the, well, I can't say countries, because this is mainly an American thing. If the state that you live in as an American outright bans abortions and you end up getting pregnant from a rape (laughs) 
you essentially either have to go out of state to perform an abortion or you have to raise a rape baby. Reload. Now think about this one for a moment. Think about what I just said for a moment there. And, and I want all the fathers of daughters reload. I want all the fathers of daughters to think about this for a minute. Especially teenage daughters. The ones who are just, you know, like those the middle school girls. Or the young promising high school daughters. Right? What do you tell your daughter if you live in a state? Crap. That almost cost me. What do you do? Now, where was my train of thought before I, before I had to do, do that errand for Mother Hell? Because I'm uh, helping her out for the moment. Ah, yes, that's what I was. That's where my train of thought was. Are these even counting as stars for the task that I have to do? Because I have not seen the thing click over. Let me check. Imagine this for a minute. You're the father of a teenage daughter. Who ends up being the prey of some sexual madman. And it does not count. Oh, that's some old boys. You know what? Let's do some illusory castle. I just want to do enough to get the five stars. So stage six. We're just gonna do, okay, enough to get five stars. And then we're gonna go back to ultimate mode. What do you tell your daughter if she's raped and gets pregnant and you live in a place where abor abortions are illegal? Think about that for a moment. And this is what, this is what the laws for the next coming days are going to have to figure out. You know, they're gonna to have to figure out how they're going to deal with the women who are unluckily impregnated by sexual assault. You know. Reload. And reload. I use this as an example because this this is the most like relevant Thing I can think of. Right? You think about that for a minute. I didn't get 250 coins. All right, one more stage. Think about that for a minute. What do you tell your daughter who's been raped and ends up getting pregnant? And she's a teenager. She's still in school, middle school, high school. What do you tell her? Do you say, I'm sorry, honey, you have to raise a rape baby? If if I had to give this news to Munchie, 
Not saying that it will happen to Munchie, but if if I had to give this news to Munchie, I would be devastated. You know, her mother, Lieutenant Laughing Coffin, would be pissed. That's not something that really isn't something sacrifice the coins to rescue the Smurfs. Good. That's not a cool that's not a cool pattern. Gotcha. Good. You know, that's not a talk, and I'm under 250 coins. I have to do another stage. That's not a that's not a talk a, a, a parent wants to give to their daughter who's just been raped and found out she was pregnant. That's not a talk any parent wants to have. So I'm looking forward to seeing just how the laws are going to be. And most importantly, how long it's going to take before they reenact Roe v. Wade. I did not put the fire hose back on. Oh well, just dodge the fireballs, forehead. You know, when I had a discussion about something like this in my college if it wasn't for the stomp, I would have missed that smurf. I had a college ethics... In my college ethics class, I had a scenario like this. Right? Where I had to play, in a debate, a person... Who was against... Oh, I should not have done that. I had to play the role of someone who was against the idea of getting rid of a woman's right to choose when it comes to her body on abortion counts for the sake of life. Right? And... The other guy was a pro-life thing. It's like all abortion is wrong. And for a good while, he's busting my helmet because I'm trying to be not rude as hell about this. Right? Back to ultimate mode. And yes, let's turn back on the fire hose. Right? And it's like, well, women shouldn't have to, and this is him saying this. Women shouldn't have to glorify having an abortion because she doesn't want to go the full term. Life is life. We do not take away life. We create life. So I looked at the guy and I looked at the prof and the prof is looking at me and so he's like, she gave me that face that I'm leaning forward towards this dude. So I look at this guy and I go, you got any daughters, man? 
And he goes, yeah, I have a 12-year-old daughter. So I ask him, because this, again, this is from the ethics, right? And I'm on the side of women should choose to have abortions or not. I go, so let's say you get the unfortunate knowing how. Your, your daughter doesn't tell you this because she doesn't want you to get mad at her. But one day she ended up getting sexually assaulted. And as you have come to find out, she is five and a half months pregnant. You ask who the father of the baby is. And then she finally tells you that she was raped five and a half months ago. Now, are you going to tell me that you are going to look at your 13 year old daughter who is in second trimester of a child that her childhood is over, that she has to not be a 13 year old kid anymore and has to end up raising a baby that was conceived out of an act of hate. Do you tell your 13 year old daughter, well, honey, the country has banned abortion. So even though you were raped and I'm very upset that you didn't tell me this beforehand, you have to raise this baby. And he was like, well, I'll help her out, of course. And I was like, so then you wouldn't want to have your daughter get her childhood back? So you're, you're essentially saying that she should just accept being a mom at 13, 14? And he had nothing to say. Let's do one more ultimate mode stage. I'm not going to say this to sound like Mr. Slippery Slope. But I'm going to say it like this. Wow. Double time invincibility right out the gate. I like that. I'm going to say it like this. Let us hope and pray. that the United States of America does not have a sharp incline that's not a reload did not have the invincibility potion that is a reload let us hope that the United States of America does not have a sharp increase in rape cases and sexual assault and I miss the magnet potion I'm going to continue because I can afford to continue I want all of you as parents to think about that for a moment. Think about the talk you would have with your child. Or your specifically your daughter or your niece or your sister or to some of you married men out there, your wife.
How would you feel? If someone put a baby in your wife's belly and it wasn't you. And instead of a, her having the choice to abort it, she has to raise it. Because abortion is illegal. And they made this perfectly clear with this law that if that in certain places, if you go to the abortion clinic, you will be criminally charged. If you have a doctor perform this, the abortion procedure, the doctor can be criminally charged. If you take an Uber to an abortion clinic, the Uber driver can be criminally charged. Think about that. Like, sub, and bell for more Smurfs Epic Run. And I would love to hear your thoughts about the overturning of Roe v. Wade in the comments section below. But for now, I take my goose from the oven because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody.